So I created this Google Sheet which you can use to automatically take products from a supplier and match them on to Amazon UK. Now the initial version I made works with Amazon.com but this is now another version I created that works with the Amazon UK marketplace. And actually what happens is you get the supplier products in here using a Chrome extension and I'm going to show you how to do that uh, in other sections of this video. And this program, this Google Sheet automatically goes through and finds the Amazon product equivalents of these products based on the product titles. Once you do that, you're able to get the prices in using either a built-in function or using Keepa. I prefer using Keepa because that way you can get the Amazon prices as well as the FBA fees, the ones that are available. And from there, using uh, the formulas that I've already, I have already programmed formulas in here to calculate the profit. So then you're instantly able to see in bulk which products are profitable. You can see here I have about 45 products on this page and I was instantly able to see the ones that are profitable. Now you have to then actually check the products and verify that the products match as well as that they are profitable just to be of course 100 percent sure. So here um, we'll look at a few examples on this product is actually unavailable right now. That means no one is actually selling the product right now. So we don't have uh, the price data for that product, but if I look at another one, let's see this one, which is this toaster, and then I look at it on Amazon. Okay, this product is going for $36.99 with a $44.98 delivery, a very high delivery fee. Uh, if you add that delivery fee onto that, that really gives you the real price, so you'd be more in the like approaching $90 or pounds but uh, here we see at the supplier just 1950 right so I mean that's just one profitable product and there are other prof profitable products in this list as well but in this video what I'm going to do is actually show you all the steps because there are uh, quite a number of steps to actually do all of this but basically the Amazon matching is completely fully automatic but you do have to use a free Chrome extension to get the data off of the supplier and the great thing about this is that this uh, does not only work for certain suppliers. This Chrome extension works with basically, is, it's designed to learn websites, to learn any website and to get the product data off of that website, this Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper, which is a free Chrome extension. Then, uh, because I am doing my Amazon matching by title, so I have written a program that automatically takes titles and searches for those titles on the web and finds their Amazon links. Therefore, I'm not dependent on barcodes like a sourcing software, so I'm not limited to any suppliers, which means you can use this with nearly any supplier website, any supplier website. You can go to that website, scrape it, get the data in here, and it will search the titles and find the uh, Amazon links. Of course, there's always going to be some websites that perhaps have really bad titles or don't have any products on Amazon. That, of course, is always a possibility that uh, those websites may not work out well, but most websites, uh, as long as they've got products on Amazon, you will be able to scrape them and you will be able to bring them in and uh, do this process. So just stick around and actually watch the video. I have each section divided so that when you get the system, which you can get through a link in this video, you can come back to this video and go to each section to remember or to, to be reminded of how to do each part of the process. So anyway, stick around and make sure you watch the video, watch the process, or just go ahead to the link, go ahead and get the system, and then you can come back to the video and actually uh, watch the video while you actually do what's in the video. So the first step in the process is to actually get the product data off of the supplier page. And to do that, I use a free Chrome extension called Instant Data Scraper. And I'm going to click on that Chrome extension once I have this page up at the supplier. And what it will do is it will automatically scrape these products into a CSV format. Now, I've scraped this page before, so it already knows where the products are. Sometimes you have to click Try Another Table to get it to go to the right place because this Chrome extension actually learns each website. It's an amazing Chrome extension. It has the ability to actually learn a website. So you may have to click Try Another Table to get the correct products. Now one thing you can do is infinite scroll, start crawling, and what that will do is it will try to get even more products because remember when you're on a supplier page there are usually more pages after that first page. 
in this case it was able to get 45 products 45 rows which are 45 products two pages scraped I'm gonna go ahead and work with that that's a lot of products to work with at once um, I mean it's enough at least so here are the links to the products you want to make sure the CSV preview shows us the links make sure we have titles and number three we want to make sure we have prices these three things are very important we need the titles for the automatic match into Amazon we need the prices to calculate profit and costs and we need the links in order to know what product we're looking at from the supplier so now at this point I'm going to click on CSV and actually download it to a CSV I did this before that's why you see another one over here so the one I just downloaded is Argos 5 and I don't even have to open the CSV rather what I so now that I have scraped the products to a CSV I go to my Google Sheet system and from here I'm going to go to the IDS CSV sheet tab which is instant data scraper CSV and what I'm going to do here is click on file and import in order to bring that CSV in to this spreadsheet so I'm going to click on upload and now select a file from your device the last file is the file that I want the Argos 5 in this case and then I'm going to click on open as you can see and then import location it's very important that you choose replace current sheet it has to go into this sheet not into a different sheet and then click on import data so replace current sheet then click on import data and you see that the CSV has been added so now that I have imported the supplier product data into the system I now need to map it meaning I need to set it up so that it can be matched up with these columns in this spreadsheet now in order to do that I have to create what is called a columns map so I'm going to go to the columns map and it's very easy to do I'm going to show you how to do it now first I'm going to zoom in so we can see this better and the first thing I'm going to do is type in the supplier website for which I'm creating the map the website is argos.com so I'll type in argos.com now what this means is we need to know where do the titles come from in the CSV right so this is titles meaning what column in the CSV has the titles so that would be this column so what we do is we copy that column heading this column heading and we bring it back to the columns map and paste it next are the URLs where are the URLs found and by the way this is just spilling over but now we need to find the URLs so I'm gonna to go to the IDS CSV the first usually the first column are the URLs from what I've seen pretty much at all suppliers so this is these are the product URLs and I'm going to copy right click copy that column heading and those are the URLs I like to use pay special values and the third thing are are the prices and now I'm going to scroll over find the prices these are the prices so now I will copy that column heading which has the prices and paste it now you usually do not need these two and th this is because sometimes they split the price into two columns and some suppliers avail it's kind of unusual but you see it sometimes sometimes the brand is also separate from the title that's unusual as well but it does happen so uh, you usually don't need those all right now um, the point is these and and I know this is the UK version and I'm using I'm, I have dollars but the name doesn't matter that's just the name okay the main thing is wherever the price is you need to map it to the price column all right so that is it for your IDS columns map so at this point we have the CSV imported on the sheet from instant data scraper and we have the columns map set up and now I'm ready to import the data into the system what I need to do is zoom out here so I can see the whole spreadsheet because it's a big spreadsheet and what I'm going to do first of all I have to choose the map and the idea is that 
you're going to have more than one supplier so right now I'm using the Argos.com supplier map so I'm going to choose that map right here once I choose the map I will simply click on import instant data scraper CSV and it will automatically copy the data from the CSV and I should mention that once you create this map one time that we created you can keep importing more pages from Argos.com you don't have to keep recreating the map because generally what happens is that the map pretty much stays the same for each page at that supplier now there may be some cases where that supplier has a different map on a certain page and then you may have to create a second map but usually that's not the case now um, as you can see it, br it brought in the URLs, it brought in the titles, the prices take a little bit longer so now the prices are going to come in now I'm going to automatically match these Amazon titles onto Amazon listings and to do that I simply click find all Amazon URLs and that will try to match all of these one by one you'll see it begin the process of matching now I should let you know most of the products nearly all of them in many cases almost all of them will match but there might be some that don't there might there is always a possibility that some don't match it's also possible that some products are not actually on Amazon or Amazon UK in this case and so the match it finds may not really be the match for that reason so it kind of varies but you will see that most products will match in most cases so for instance if we look at this first product at the supplier and we look at the match that just came up for this product on Amazon it's clearly this looks like a match right this is a match okay it's not profitable but it's a match and that's the other thing don't think that most products will be profitable and if you have experience in product research you probably know this already that uh, in dealing with these retail sites most products are not profitable but uh, as you'll see when we pull the price data see this is this one is not actually available on it meaning no one is actually selling it but it is a match but you'll see that by getting uh, things in bulk you will be able to find all the profitable products or most of them uh, on this page at one time and that's where this is going to save you a lot of time so we see that this supplier page is being matched very well some of the products are, are coming up unavailable which makes it hard for us to calculate a profit because we don't know what the selling price is but um, it is definitely finding these matches okay here's one that's actually being sold but it's being sold by Amazon and you know you will come across some that are sold by Amazon and then you'll come across some that are not sold by Amazon but basically you see that these products are matching I'm gonna kind of skip because it would take a long time to click on every single product I'm just gonna kind of skip around to some other products that are finding matches as well we can see this one is $44 okay on a high delivery I see $39.99 here so that looks profitable so I mean that's basically it you just kind of wait this out uh, there is some intentional delay programmed into this process because Google Sheets doesn't like you to do a lot of fetch app calls which fetch app calls are what I use to search the web from Google Sheets it's a built-in function of Google Sheets and they don't like a lot of them alright um, by the way if you go to extensions um, an app script you'll be able to see the actual code behind the page and you'll see the fetch app I'm talking about there's a fetch app command in there so the code is there but uh, anyway um, this is done I have all Amazon links and ASINs for every single product I'm gonna go ahead and cancel that and now it's just a matter of getting the price data now first of all formulas are actually being used to create uh, to pull these okay formulas that I created all right so we don't want those to stay so you want to click on stamp Amazon data so that it will just keep the data here because what happens is if you leave those uh, formulas it's gonna keep doing the fetch app it's gonna keep trying to search the web again for another URL which we don't need because we already have one 
So you want to stamp it so it becomes permanent. That's what stamp means. It means make it permanent in this case. So now at this point, uh, what you want to do is actually get the price data into this thing, right? And I mean, there are a number of ways that we can do that. Um, first, I don't really want to say the first option, but one option if you don't have Keepa is you can use import XML. Import XML is a built-in command of Google Sheets. I have the formula for import XML that when you click on it, click on this button, it's going to give you the import XML formula. And um, it's going to automatically just keep putting that formula here. And sometimes it works well, like right now it's working very well in getting me the prices. Sometimes it doesn't work so well. So Keepa is much better, but this is one option that you have. I'm going to show you how to do it with Keepa in a second. Um, I just wanted to show this for people who are not using Keepa. The only issue with doing it this way is that uh, although you do get the prices, you are not going to get the FBA fees because you need to understand import XML does not go behind the scenes. Import XML, what it actually does is it just goes to this link and it actually reads the page and it reads that price right off the page. And as you should know, there is no FBA fee on the page of an Amazon product, right? So the FBA fee is not going to come out. So what you should do, if, if you can't get the FBA fees, you're going to have to approximate or estimate what you think the FBA fee is generally for the products you're looking at. So basically, you know that you scraped a bunch of tea kettles, toasters. You might have a general idea of what the FBA fee is for them. You might not, but if you do, um, you can put a number here. If you think they're generally somewhere around eight pounds, for instance, you could put the eight pounds there. And then click on set FBA fee. And what it will do is it sets a default uh, of eight. Just the same, I have a default 15.31% referral fee that you can change as well by changing this number and clicking set referral fee. So now it's going to put that eight. I'm going to zoom in just a little bit. It's so small. Um, and it will just you know, calculate profit based on that. And uh, mostly, uh, yeah, calculations aren't going to be accurate because you don't have the exact FBA fee. Right, of course. So that's just something we have to keep in mind. So um, the preferred way of doing it, I'm actually going to, and, well, uh, I mean, I don't think I actually have to delete this, but I'm going to delete those and delete this as well. I'm going to delete, highlight and delete these prices. The preferred way to do this is with Keepa. So now, this is how you do it with Keepa. You take the ASINs, first of all, and you highlight the ASINs. Highlight them. Right-click and copy. Now, we use what's called Product Viewer, and I'm going to refresh it. I was using it before. Um, and starting out with nothing on the page, I guess I have to go to Keepa.com again, Data Product Viewer, this is where it's going to take you. So you need to be subscribed to the data features of Keepa, not just the free version with the uh, price history. And you go into Paste, and I have a link if you want to sign up with Keepa. You simply just paste all these ASINs in here. Include products. Just include everything. I want everything it can get. And then you click on load list. And sometimes there are, there are some ASINs that won't be able to come out. Since we're dealing with Amazon UK, by the way, you have to make sure you set this to UK. Make sure you're on the correct, uh, correct country. And at this point, I'm going to go ahead, I see I have the products loaded, and now I'm going to export to product data, all active columns. I'm going to export that data to a CSV. This is the CSV down here. And just like I did with the IDS CSV, I'm going to go to the Keepa CSV sheet, and I'm going to bring that CSV in here. So I'm going to go to File Import again, like I did with the other one. Upload, select a file. Again, I'm in Downloads, that's where it is, and it's this last file. 
and I'm gonna bring that in again replace sheet import data so you see once you know the process how fast it is and I can do it even faster than that so once you know the process it's very fast all right uh, let me go back to supplier and Amazon data and all we need to do now first of all I'm gonna right click this button and move it back where it belongs and uh, what I'm going to do is click on import keep a data and that will now take the data from Keepa. You don't have to map anything when it comes to Keepa. You don't have to do anything like that. You just I've already mapped it in the programming because the Keepa columns are always the same. The reason why you have to create a map for the supplier is because the columns are different for different suppliers. I don't know what the column is going to be. So you have to set it up separately for each supplier because we never know All right, what you're going to get. So... Um, but with Keepa, you just import Keepa. You don't have to set up anything. You just bring in the data. It's also put in the FBA fees in here, by the way. Now, it can only give you what is provided, right? If the Keepa CSV does not have the FBA fee for that product, which happens, then you're not going to get the FBA fee for that product, okay? So just keep that in mind, right? We can only do... Uh, we can only do what is given to it, right? The program cannot do magic and figure out things that are not provided. All right, and the reason why sometimes the FBA fee is missing is because the product has never been sent in with FBA, and they just don't have that data, right? So you have to use the Seller Central to try to find the FBA fee by entering the weight and the dimensions. But anyway, um, now that the prices are in and the FBA fees are in, and again, it uses formulas to get those, I'm going to go ahead and stamp the Amazon data. And I'm going to cancel this because, well, I'm not sure which one I canceled, but let's see. Yeah, okay, good. I canceled that because it kept going and it was finished. And um, now we see that with the prices and FBA fees, we have some kind of profit calculations over here. So some of these are lighting up in green, and that is based on the price and the FBA fee and the referral fee. But you need to confirm. Now, the easiest thing to do or the easiest way to manage this is you go to estimated profit per ASIN. I've programmed it to be green when it's positive profit. So what you can do is go to filter by color, fill color, and select that green color. And actually, I didn't want to do filter. I wanted to do sort. But you could do filter also. Um, well, filter will remove the non-green. Uh, sort by color will just put it. Uh, in fact, let me turn this off and show you. Sort by color. fill color green we'll just put the green at the top All right so you can decide which of those you're going to use now we're gonna pay more attention to the green ones and then we're gonna open them because even though they're green we need to make sure that they're matching and we need to confirm the profitability because sometimes keep a data could be it could be off there's always that possibility. And it could just be off by a dollar or something, but we want to make sure. So $39.99 here there is no price because no one is selling it. So actually we can't really calculate a profit on that product. And I saw that one before. And uh, let's look at this one. Okay, this one is showing that it's supposed to be profitable, but let's really see what's going on with it. It's also unavailable. So this price data is old, right? The price that it's giving me the 79.50 this must be a old price data but hey that still might tell me how much it used to sell for and if you actually if you have keep a, a chrome extension you might be able to get um, some price history let's see if we can get price history on this with the keep a chrome extension um, the basic price history chrome extension uh, is actually free I have a link for that that's actually free, uh, the, the basic Keeper Chrome extension. But if you want more things on the graph like what I have here, you're going to have to subscribe. But if you just want a basic price history chart, you can get that. So this does show me some kind of price history. So perhaps I could actually look. Yes, it was $79.50 according to this at some point. All right. But apparently they must have gone out of stock or whatever. Right. So. If you decide to sell this, that gives you an idea of what price it was selling at, right? So that still is a, 
a, a good profit calculation in a sense, since that was the price of the item when it was being sold. Now let's take a look at this one. Toaster Amazon. Okay. 1950 3699 and then with this huge delivery fee. Um so obviously and we base profit based on the price that the other people are selling it for, right? Based on other sellers. So based on their price that they have it priced at, this is profitable, right? And based on the cost that we're looking at at the supplier, right? The 1950. So um these are, you know, they're green and they're surely shown to be profitable just as now there's some things that perhaps have been removed from Amazon or something. So you may get some products like that that just don't show up on Amazon. And I don't necessarily need to go through all of these right now but I would like to at least look okay yeah so this is the same product it's light up in blue when the product is ready when the uh, water is boiled it lights up in blue so that's why it's lit up in blue hair but not hair and okay that's profitable yeah so that's the idea now I mean uh, something you can do um, with this Chrome extension is you can actually type in the cost of goods as I did here and you can get the source link if I could get back to that product I could remember which product it is. Uh, is it this one? I can actually take the source link and I can actually paste it right in here. If I can get rid of that stuff off the screen. Alright, and then what I can do is actually save this product to a Google Sheet. Which you have to set that up. And I have a video showing how to connect this Chrome extension to your Google Sheet. Um, and save the data in there instantly and if you don't have this Chrome extension by the way I have a link in the description of this video and you do get a deal through the link I really highly recommend this Chrome extension it makes it so much easier for calculating your profit um, instantly and seeing all your data and then you can save the products so as you're doing research you can actually save the products so then when I go here to connect Google Sheet I'm gonna sign in you're actually going to be able to see that I'm able to build a Google Sheet let me go to uh, Google Sheets I think it is and you see that's actually building a Google Sheet of these products so here's the product that I just saved alright with all this different product data I even have profit data and everything so I really highly recommend that uh, highly recommend this Chrome extension if you're not already using it now um, that is pretty much it I mean you're gonna go through the ones that are lined up green because they are potentially profitable and I say potentially because you have to confirm that they are matches and again you have to confirm the numerical data to see that they really are profitable and uh, the Chrome st extension here will help you very much with that or use a calculator or use this very spreadsheet in front of you uh, as well you can just type in the fees here you can type in prices as well right if you want to do things manually um, there's also a supplier cost section if you want to change the cost um, when I say change the cost, let me be more specific. If you want to say, let's say you're buying in bulk and you're going to buy 10 of them and then you're going to pay a shipping cost. Well, you can put that in here and then it will calculate for you the subtotal. You can apply a tax to it. I know for the UK, you, you call it VAT. And I mean, but, uh, and let me know, by the way, since this is for the UK and I'm, I live, I was born and raised in the United States of America. And so I'm not. Uh, and I don't have much familiarity with the UK as far as, uh, you know, certain things go uh, with that and all that. So if there's anything that this needs to, uh, if you're a UK seller and you know that there's certain little things that I might need to adjust, even if it's just a language thing, even if it doesn't have any math, any effects on the program mathematically, even if it's just kind of a language thing, uh, just let me know. Uh, reach out to me. Let me know. I have contact information. Um, but I would say go ahead and get the system because it does work as it is, but there might be little things and when I update the system, you get the updates free. You get free updates as I update, right? So this is version, I would say this is version 1.0 of the Amazon UK system. And then if I 
make some slight changes and improvements, that might be version 1.1. I'll send you the 1.1. And then if I do something else and I adjust something else, it'll become 1.2 and I'll send that to you as well. So um, definitely communicate with me if you feel like there's anything that should be changed, being that this is for the UK. You do have FBA fee referral fee. I know that there might be some other stuff. Well, there's a shipping box here if you want to type in a shipping cost. And I realize that there might be some other uh, fee or something that you're potentially um, wanting to subtract, and you can put that in here as well. But just remember that in the product research phase, it's really about estimated profit right here. But then you know you can use uh, some more precise Google Sheets that I even have to do more precise profit when you're ready to actually buy the product and sell it. So um, that's pretty much it. I mean, that was the process. This is how you go from the, uh, the blank system, uh, going to the supplier page, scraping all the products off the page, putting it into a CSV, bringing that CSV in here, setting up a map, importing all the product data from that CSV, automatically matching the product to Amazon, or then grabbing prices from Keepa, preferably, uh, and FBA fees giving you that profit calculation and then from there being able to just kind of focus on the green uh, profits the ones that are positive of course we don't want to lose money so I'm not gonna focus on these you can still look at them but uh, they're usually correct so usually uh, if it's coming out negative it's because that price uh, is just the price on Amazon is just too low and if you look at these supplier price is 55.55 and you look at the Amazon prices clearly you see that this price is too you're not making a profit here same thing here 67 at the supplier 48 on Amazon UK you're not gonna make a profit if the price is, is lower on Amazon right so it's very clear why these are negative and that is the beautiful thing of this uh, system is the fact that it can do that for you in bulk you don't waste time looking at products that are not profitable when you use the system you spend your time only focusing on the products that are most likely to be profitable on that page and that is the beauty uh, I believe in a huge advantage of the system and the more you use the system the faster you're gonna become at using it and more efficient and um, at no monthly cost because it's a Google sheet that is on your account that you run on your account on your Google account which is free to begin with so I mean I think it's can be highly beneficial uh, to someone sell, sell and especially in this arbitrage um, area. Now, uh, comments, questions, or suggestions, you can leave them below the video. You can also contact me directly. Please check the video for links. I might have links to other things, like my full list of tools and videos. Um, another video, maybe that's related to this video. Um, also, the different sections, so you can go to the different sections of the video. So when you come back and you want to know how to do one part, you can click the link to that particular part of the video. Um, software, like the Chrome extension, you get a deal through my link, um, right? This Chrome extension, um, Cell Assistant app, the Chrome extension that you need, uh, the Instant Data Scraper in order to scrape the supplier. There's all these different links, so you need to go to the description of the video to get all the links that you need. I'm Mr. Mark, this is Excel for Amazon. I look forward to hearing from you or seeing you around in another video.